Hey everybody, it's Tim, and now we're going to get into sodium sulfate. Sodium sulfate works alongside of the intestinal fluid, kidneys, and liver. Sodium sulfate's a bit of a difficult one to explain, uh, though it's really not. Uh, potassium sulfate and sodium sulfate, when it comes to kidney function, uh, congested livers, first thing is I go to, the, t the two sodium and potassium sulfate. Great drainers uh, of the liver and of the kidneys. I use them quite extensively in one of my formulas that recovers kidneys from renal failure. I have to be careful in how I word things, so I apologize for the little pauses at times. But let's just get into it, and first things we're going to do is I have the wrong thing here. Let me do this. Okay, now we have the right one. Let's talk about facial signs. When it comes to facial signs, the main thing we're going to look at, and it's kind of hard to see in these photos when you're doing them as a video. In this case, we would look for jaundice, so we'd look for yellowing in the corners of the eyes. It's there. I just don't think that by the time I upload them and YouTube or Facebook compresses it, that you're actually going to see it. So you're just going to have to imagine with me, I think, that I can quite clearly see yellowing here. And when I show you the straight on photo, you might be able to see it a bit better. But one of the telltale signs is jaundice, uh, as well as age spots. Though I have to admit there's no real such thing as age spots. If you have an age spot, what's called an age spot, a kidney spot, a liver spot, all of these are indicators that either the kidney or the liver is not filtering properly. When it comes to kidney spots, they normally have dark flecks throughout them, uh, while, sorry, that's liver spots with dark specks throughout them. Kidney spots, however, are typically quite uniform, and they'll look a bit like this. However, this is melasma. We're going to talk about this a bit today. So melasma is actually one of the signs of a sodium sulfate deficiency. A lot of women suffer from it, and it's brought on by, uh, or its inception begins either during a pregnancy from hormonal dysregulation or as a result of birth control. What a lot of people don't realize about um, sodium sulfate deficiencies, or in this case, melasma, is that the Journal of Endocrinology, which is a peer-reviewed medical journal, has a study published that identifies that for women who suffer from melasma, they will have a 75% propensity to have an autoimmune thyroid condition. So if they don't have it at that time, it, it should follow uh, a three out of four chance or probability so we see what the what's going on here uh when it comes to sodium sulfate look for melasma jaundice in the corners of the eyes is enough to, to use it uh whenever you see any yellowing around the mouth the eyes it's in the corner of her eyes and you'll also see acne along the temples and forehead mainly you might have a few small outbreaks in other places on the face, but the main concentration of acne will be in the temples and forehead. But let's go on and move forward and talk about, let's just do this first and see if we can see it. Hopefully you can see the yellowing here. I can, I don't know if you can. I hope you can. Uh, not a lot of acne here. We're seeing the melasma quite plainly. Um, which is the, the hyperpigmentation that we're seeing here. So let's just get back here and we'll just move forward. And of course my dogs are now outside my office window barking. I need to trade them in for goldfish. They have that gang mentality. One starts barking and they all follow. And there, my wife is getting them in. I see them going inside on the security cameras. All right, so let's talk about the indications of a sodium sulfate deficiency, and we'll begin with vanity issues. Now, we've already talked about some of them, so 
acne along the temple and, fo and forehead, you're going to look for jaundice yellowing around the mouth, around the eyes, or on the white of the eyes, the crystalline, around the crystalline lens, and they'll typically be in the corners, inside, outside. Best to have somebody keep their head pointed straight at you and then move their eyes to the left, move their eyes to the right, while their face is pointing straight at you, and you will generally see yellow yellowing, which is jaundice, at the inner or outer corners of the eyes. So you, a reddened nose, and here's the red nose. And they speak about warts. Well, I don't see any specifically. Skin tags, I'm not really seeing a lot of them, or any of them, actually. Uh, hyperhidrosis, once again, excessive sweating, uh, and jaundice, as we've already discussed. So those are the vanity issues. We'll move on to health issues. There's not a lot of behavioral issues when it comes to sodium sulfate, but a fair bit of... Uh, health issues. So, hepatitis, pancreatitis. It ends with itis. Think about sodium sulfate. If it ends with itis and is related to your digestive system, think about sodium sulfate. Uh, cluster migraine. So, a cl cluster migraine. A mi the term migraine has become a generic term for all chronic headaches. The cluster headache, the chronic cluster headaches, are the most common types of migraines. I'm throwing up my little quotey fingers. You just can't see them. Um, constipation or diarrhea, corns on the feet, uh, cranial brain trauma. So this is, an, this is not that a deficiency is going to cause the trauma. It's that it is a go-to treatment in the, the treatment of, of, bra of brain trauma. Uh, swelling of the lower extremity. So somebody who can't distribute, who's not distributing their water properly, again, most likely related to the kidneys. Um, emphysema, fatty liver, glaucoma, seasonal allergies, urinary incontinence, high cholesterol, directly linked to leukemia, cold sores, liver weakness or congestion, most kidney issues, literally most ki kidney issues. And it's funny because it's a sulfate, so it's a sulfur and it's something that the renal diet says that you're supposed to stay away from, but that's foolishness. But anyway, uh, low oxygen saturation, polyarthritis, pilitis, gastritis, sugar metabolism. So the ability for your liver to convert uh, sugar complex carbohydrates into glycogen. Uh, and of course, tumors both cancerous and non-cancerous. Lastly, we have the behavioral aspects, and that will be arrogance. A person with a sodium sulfate deficiency will have liver congestion and liver issues. Liver is, when you t think about it in Chinese medicine, liver is anger. Uh, so expect anger. Um, they'll lack authenticity. They'll suffer from fantasism in that they, they just... They're not in touch with the real world. Uh, they'll lack responsibility, fail, fail to take responsibility for their own actions or inactions. They will lack restraint and sensory processing issues on many fronts. But that's actually it for sodium sulfate. Always think about the kidneys and liver. If you suspect congestion, sodium sulfate and potassium sulfate are the go-tos. But that's really it. There's no after photo because... I can show you all kinds of photos without melasma. You see the melasma right here, the hyperpigmentation. You see the one sign, but I would expect more actually acne around the forehead and temples. Look for jaundice around the eyes. Red nose to accompany it. Doesn't have to have them all, but that's enough. That's it for now, and that is sodium sulfate.